Allow me to say, to infinity and beyond. That's how far newly appointed South African National Space Agency interim CEO Andiswa Mlisa is planning to take Sansa. Uh, it's a role which we know is often not held by females around uh, the global space agencies. Uh, such a pleasure to welcome Melissa uh, to join us and tell us how about the agency it's going for the moment. Andiswa, hello uh, to you. So let's talk first of all how you're feeling, new interim CEO, and what do you make of the comment uh, that so many people are attributing it to the fact there aren't many women in your position. How does that make you feel? Good morning. Uh, good, good morning, Gareth. Well, it's quite an exciting time for, for me, and, and truly it's not, it's not a position that is normally held by females uh, global, globally. Uh, nonetheless, I'm not taking that as taking away from my capabilities. I actually see it as a recognition and acknowledgement of where my career has been and where my career could go. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity to actually show young girls out there that this is actually possible. I mean, I grew up in the rural villages of Tala, and most people don't even know where that is. Uh, and it's actually very inspirational for me when my, their science engagement team for Sansa goes out into the rural communities and they put my picture up there and they say, do you know mm. where this woman comes from? And so it, it's possible because here I am. It's quite possible. Here you are. Here you are. What are you going to do with it? What's the plan here? Because I think a lot of people, uh, and, and forgive the ignorance on this, wouldn't know just how advanced our space agency is in South Africa. Because when we think of space agencies, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a fair argument, we think of China, we think of Russia, we think of America. I don't think most people think of South Africa. So where are we on our uh, space agency plans? Well, if you look at the developing countries, uh, South Africa is quite uh, head on in terms of the role that we play in within the space, the space arena. We, we have built and launched our own satellites as the country, which is and we happen to be the only African country that has actually got the capability to build uh, as well as put into space its own satellites, whereas most countries would find that they just buy existing satellites that are built, are built elsewhere. And if you consider that now we've just been awarded uh, as the regional space weather center for the region of Africa, that also puts testament mm. to the investment that the country has made over the past decades uh, into space. So our heritage goes back to over 80 years uh, of, uh, of, of playing in the field of space. And, uh, and I said with the imagery there, uh, viewers can see the space weather, which we're looking up on the sun, how the sun impacts us on Earth. But we also, as we actually speak today, we're hosting an international delegation from all over the globe under the United States um, Geological Survey, where we have celebrating 50 years for South Africa, actually, since 1972, of receiving Landsat imagery. And this is when now we're actually looking on the ground versus looking up in terms of what's happening in space that impacts us on the ground. But we're also looking at how the Earth system itself behaves and changes over time. And you'll see the imagery behind me. Mm. Sadly, these are some of the images that we're capturing for what's happening in UK's, in UK's, in UK's at end. So the heritage is very strong. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm hoping with uh, engagements like this, we could actually bring the South African community closer to the, to the space agency and actually just know uh, how proud we are in terms of us playing into the global, into the global space. We also have a very vibrant uh, industry as well. So there's what we're doing as government, but we've got a very big um, uh, space industry both upstream, those who are building satellite components and they're selling those components to the international community. And then we also have those that actually build uh, services in terms of the downstream or what we call downstream. These will be talking to monitoring our water resources, monitoring the agriculture, building flood uh, uh, systems and early warning systems. So, so the industry is quite vibrant, but we would definitely want to grow it. And this is one of the ambitions that we have and we are working towards is making sure that we grow not only the capability of the space agency, but the capability of the space sector in the country. As and well. how do we do that? Because I was going to ask you about uh, the size of the sector at the moment, because uh, I'm very curious to get your thoughts on these. Where it's all good and well to have uh, the experts in place now. Talk to me about how we're going to create 
and train and develop new space engineers, new space technologists uh, in South Africa through South Africa's schooling system so we can get the best engineers from South Africa working for the uh, SA National Space Agency. What, is, what does the education side in South Africa look like? Do you, do you think we're on board with what you need? Uh, absolutely, and we play a vital role as an agency in making sure that we support the education sector to building the skills that we're requiring for the whole sector. Uh, so our skills development strategy starts quite early, at an early level in terms of the value chain or with what we would call the pipeline. We start with just the engagement and just the awareness at schools level. So you'd find that any given year we directly reach over 40,000 uh, learners. Uh, and this is where we actually try to introduce to the learners uh, still before they get to, your, to choosing the subjects mm. of choice, what they can actually do with space, the various um, career paths within, within space and the kinds of subjects that they can do when they get to university. And also technical skills. We mustn't forget that this is not just the science and the, and the engineering. We also need artisans in this, in, 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 in this field. So the TVET colleges are also where we also promote that our learners could go. So that's not just the universities alone. Then when we get to the tertiary level, we do have bursaries that we, that, that we are offering. We also provide training. So we have students that actually are within our facilities. If I take the space science facility in Hermanas, for example, where the space weather our center is situated, you find that, that we have students that are, are, are put on site. And it's because we're actually supporting the education sector because some of the courses that we're requiring are not done in the manner that we need uh, within the university. So there sector. is a plan for this pipeline. It sounds like as the interim CEO, it's not just taking control of uh, the agency as it is now, but ensuring its, uh, its uh, job security and its development and growth in later in years. And so I need to say goodbye to you, but before I do that, this is the most important question you're going to get uh, with any interview you're going to do all day about this. When are we putting a South African into space? And no, I don't mean Elon Musk. Soon. What soon? soon? What soon? Come on, tell me what soon. Well, I mean, with space, yes, uh, when we're talking about space, we're not talking about five-year terms. We're talking about 20 to 30-year plans. So when I'm saying soon, it's still way sooner than when we're talking geological scale times, which we're talking millions of years, Garrett. So uh, let's watch the space. Let's watch the space. I really appreciate it. And Diesel, all the very best interim uh, CEO, my technical director, saying that he'd like to do it. I'll happily send him up as long as he doesn't come back down again uh, as well. Appreciate uh, the time of interim CEO, the South African Council uh, for Space Affairs. Our space agency, wouldn't you love to have a job in space? I didn't even know you could get jobs in space.